Welcome to the Media One Wrap This YouTube channel. I'm Dale Salamaca. Today I want to talk about moving day. Does anybody like moving day, moving their house? Nope. I bet nobody put their hands up. Nobody likes moving. You got your garage to clean out, you got closets you need to clean out and organize and pack up, and then you've got all your furniture. That's a lot of work to do. Nobody really likes doing it. Now imagine moving a facility like this, 19,000 square feet of heavy equipment and clutter that we've gathered over the years. Well that's exactly what we're doing because we're going to move from this 19,000 square foot place into our brand new 30,000 square foot facility. Now is the time to organize and streamline all of our processes so when we move in there it's professionally done and we're very organized moving forward. We're going to introduce you to a buddy of mine, his name is Sean Green, he's going to help us with this monster move. Sean's company, G5S Pro, helps companies become leaner, more organized, and eliminate waste by using the 5S Lean Manufacturing Program. Rick and I were very impressed with Sean's process because he immersed himself into the culture of our company, learning about each team member's job and getting their input and ideas as he executed his plans. So they just hold everything in place? Yeah, until you need it. So you'll trim that off? Uh, all the raw product we take in starts here. What the hell are those? This was Jason's and, and Dale's initial thought, but uh, you and I are going to change it. In, in an ideal world, the, the future state, what would you like that to look like? Uh, I, mainly just to be like right next to me, I guess, like everything I need. We thought it would be important to implement these practices now so that they would become a part of our work habits moving forward into our new facility. So Sean, our facility here now is about 19,000 square feet and we've been in this building for about 14 years. When we move into the new building, even though it's big, it's 30,000 square feet, it could wind up looking like this really quick if we don't have an organized process or system to go into. So can you tell me what the 5S is all yeah, about? Yeah, so um, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, moving into 11,000 square feet, bigger facility, it could look just like this within months. If we don't establish the 5S program, which is sort, set in order, shine, standardize, and sustain. So the first test is sort. So what we do is we'll come in and identify all the items that are in the building and sort them. So you'll have things that you'll need to keep, you'll have things that you'll need to sell, you'll need to scrap, or you'll just need to throw away. So just get rid of all the clutter. Get rid of all the clutter and get it organized. So it's almost like an episode of Hoarders. We need to get everything out. So this is excess material that customers have already paid for that we're saving to maybe use for a job sometime, but really uh, we need to get rid of it unless it's something that we can use right away. Nope, so how long has that been sitting in the warehouse? If uh, something's been here for six months or more, or if you don't know how long it's been here, just to go ahead and toss it. This can go. Clearly damaged and we wouldn't be able to use that again, so that's gotta go. More than six years old, wow. It's been here for how many years? That, that gets tossed. It's not something we would use for signs. It's not anymore. something you'd use for signs, so it needs to go. Because we're in the sign business. But this is high dollar good material that, oh, yeah. that we want to sell. Okay. So this material here was donated for the Pulse uh, nightclub shooting memorial. And that was over a year ago. It was specific for that job and uh, we will not use this type of material again. Fabricators seem to be hoarders, I'm learning. We're getting there, making some progress. So we're gonna go through all of this and sort it. And majority of this is scrap, but there's also some good material in here that they need for an upcoming job, but you would never know it's here because it's all covered up. This is absolutely unacceptable in a manufacturing environment. Steve has admittedly been a proponent of saving everything, which is great that he admits that, but in a 5S uh, lean environment, we can't hold on to everything. We can't hoard. I can tell by the layer of dust on that 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 was, that was at least two or three years old. At least. You can write your name on a piece of metal in the dust. You know it's, it's too old. It's got to go. This is, this is the material I had sheared for Amazon. If I had known there's already material on this pallet, I would not have sheared that. Steve, how long have these pieces been sitting here? Three years? Three? Maybe maybe four? And a lot of it, oh, but longer than that because it was Seasons 52. Wow, a lot of money sitting here. This was for North Miami Beach, job. and we already completed that job. So that's from a job for from how many years ago? I think 2013. 2013. Port, Port St. Lucie. <laughs> I know where everyone came from. You need a moment? You gonna be okay? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I did bring some Kleenexes. Oh. This is like Steve going through his yearbooks of all his old jobs. A lot of sentimental memories here. So this is almost like media on archaeology. This is a historical event. <laughs> this is not something you usually see in a sign shop. The boss's Corvette. I know where the keys are. Oh man, there's two of them there. That is referred to as mini plate. It's a different grade of metal, which is really hard. So we use that for base plates, cut holes in them, stand poles up. Extremely expensive. One of the most expensive. I think they're just too nasty. And we throw the rest away because I don't have anything in extrusion. And we don't even use them anymore. Okay, where's it going? Scrap. I don't think I have a use for them. Yeah, I'm never going to use this. Yeah, that's it. Everything else goes. Yeah. Progress. Yes. Huh, so far so good. And I know that I have plenty of materials to use. So I know we just saved a bunch of money. That's $3,000 worth of sheared material. How much product we have extra right now is a little bit crazy. So Steve just bought this exact material to build new hospital. And he had plenty to do it right here in the shop. I've had to buy that twice, three times, and it's sitting right here on the other side of the shop. Wow, look at this space. This is what 5S can do to a facility. All this room is freed up now to place jobs that are ready to go and also have access to the material. This is, this is great. All right, Sean, so what's the biggest hurdle, or is there multiple hurdles that you run into? What, what, what comes up when you do this work? Well, my concern with a company this size, you've got a lot of great tenure here, so the folks have been here for over 10 years. So a lot of times we run into a culture where the team members are resistant to change. Uh, they don't like change. It's been like this for 10 or 15 years. Uh, but here, it's such a great tight-knit uh, family group. Everybody here has been open to change, uh, even though initially they have met, hey, I hold on to everything. Uh, one of your uh, shop leads, Steve, he's, he's an admitted hoarder. He holds on to everything he can. Yep, yep. So I thought we were going to have some issues there, but they've all been open, surprisingly open uh, to any change to help their job. Okay. So that's, that's what's going to be the really cool transition over the next couple months as you roll into the new facility. All right, sounds good. Well, we've got 14 years of funk and disorganization built up in this building that we've been in for this long. And we're really excited, really looking forward to what Sean's going to do for us. He's going to be with us for the next couple months, so make sure you stay tuned and uh, follow our adventures.